Hi, I'm Braden Abraham, and I am excited to introduce to you my first season as Artistic Director at Writers Theatre. We don't choose seasons based on themes, but it is interesting through the season planning process how certain themes can emerge based on the plays that we're drawn to and the kinds of things that um, we're talking about with other artists when we're putting together a new season. This season, I think what was interesting that started to emerge was this idea around second acts or new beginnings, new starts, um, which seems very fitting uh, with where we are as a theater starting this next act of who we are at Writers Theater. The first show of our new season is a play called Eurydice by Sarah Rule. What Sarah has done is she's taken a 3,000 year old myth, the Orpheus Eurydice myth, and she's completely made it her own. Sarah, you may know, is a major playwright of her generation. She's won incredible awards like the MacArthur Genius Award. She also happens to be from Wilmette, just down the road from the theater. I love this play because uh, at the heart of it is uh, a love of language and imagination. It seems so perfect for writer's theater. And it also asks the question about if you were to lose a loved one, um, what would you say to them if you had the chance to have one more conversation? Uh, it's a beautiful play and uh, I have the privilege of directing it to kick off the new season. The next piece in our lineup is the 10 time Tony Award winning musical, The Band's Visit. And we have the privilege of doing the regional premiere of this piece. It is so perfect for the intimacy of the Nichols Theater. And if you liked a piece like Once, uh, I know you're going to love the band's visit. The premise of the piece is very simple. It's uh, set in this small Israeli town and an Egyptian police orchestra that's on tour gets stuck in this little town overnight when they get on the wrong bus. Um, it's a piece about community, about chance encounters, about new enchantments, and how music has the power to bring a community together. Next, I'm excited to welcome Hershey Felder to Writer's Theatre for the first time, doing a piece called Monsieur Chopin. And I love the way that Hershey has framed this piece as a kind of master class that Chopin is giving uh, in 1848, just after um, the revolution. Hershey, if you don't know him, is so unique in how he combines storytelling and music and as he's telling the story of Chopin's life he's also playing some of his most well-known beautiful pieces uh, live for the audience. We're going to be finishing out the season with one of my favorite plays that I've read in the last year. It's called The Hot Wing King by Katori Hall. This is the 2021 Pulitzer Prize winning play and we're going to be doing the Chicago premiere. This is a funny wonderful comedy set in Memphis, Tennessee over one long weekend. And the basic premise of the play is that Cordell has what he feels is going to be the winning recipe to win the annual Hot Wing Festival in Memphis. And he's assembled his chosen family to help him win the big prize. It's a piece about family, it's about love. Uh, since it's about family, there's plenty of conflict. Um, but really, the, I think the message of the piece is around forgiveness and about how we give ourselves a second chance with the people that we love the most. For the holidays, we're welcoming back Manual Cinema and their endlessly inventive riff on A Christmas Carol. We premiered this piece last year. It was so popular, we felt like we needed to bring it back one more time. Uh, it's got poetry, it, it's got film, uh, it's got incredible music, and you don't want to miss what I think is becoming a wonderful writer's theater tradition with this unique and endlessly inventive Christmas Carol. I hope you'll join us as we begin this new act at Writer's Theater, the new 23-24 season. And I can't wait to see you there.